We are the Lion Gaming Crew, and in this Diablo 3 seasonal video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the ethereals that I have made up in preparation to release the free seasonal save file made by me. And guys, it's going to be released on August 8th, man, at midnight. So mark your calendars, man. And that's not all I have to announce in this video. Um, there's so much more, but first we're going to take a look at these ethereal items, man. So, just want to get right into it, man. Big special shout out to each and every single one of my subscribers. Without your guys' support, man, none of this would be possible. So truly, thank you to each and every single one of you guys, man. And in preparation to the release of this file, I just want to show you just a taste of what you guys are going to get. Now, I kind of want to talk about the giveaway, too. So on August 8th, this file will be released to everyone. But I do want to note that you do have to have either Save Wizard or a Jailbroken PS4 to re-sign this save. Now, if you don't have either of those, I still have a solution for you. Once a week, we will be give, uh, doing a random giveaway. One lucky winner will have the chance to have their save re-signed. So you'll be able to have the seasonal save and all of the gear for softcore and hardcore. Every single piece of gear that I've ever made is going to be on this file. So... Without any further ado, let's just go ahead and show you guys what you're here for, man. These ethereal items. Now, these... I spent a lot of time on these items. That's where I've been for the last five or six days. I've been working on this seasonal save. Now, just to show you, we are in seasonal. Okay, this is the only area where these are going to work. Now, don't fret. When season 26 ends, we will be doing a day one patch to update it to season 27. So, you'll still be able to play with these amazing weapons throughout all of season 27 and eventually season 28 as well. So the first weapon we have right, ha have right here is a Witch Doctor weapon, the Ariox Needle. Now look at all of the different affixes on here. There's 28 in total because there's three legendary gems, and each gem plus the normal piece of weapon. So it's actually around like 30 or so affixes. It's just absolutely insane. We hit every type of elemental damage. So you have regular, cold, fire, lightning, poison, holy, percent damage, increased attack speed, Critical hit damage, critical hit cham chance, life hit. You got the augment for intelligence because this is a doctor weapon. You also get some thorns damage. It ignores durability loss because it's an ethereal, so you need to have that. It's also at, uh, assigned the essence of anguish. The, oh uh, man, the other soul shard. Uh, I can't remember the day, but dude, it, it, all of these are going to be pretty much look identical, right? But they're all class specific. So since this is a witch doctor weapon, we have 200% damage to all voodoo. Decay and secondary skills. Now it's got the Gem of Ease in there, so it's level one, and you're gonna get 8,000 experience per kill. It's also got the Season 25 Soul Shard Death Blow animation, and it's got the Dreg of Lies in there. So every time you deal poison damage to an enemy, you increase your cooldown reduction and movement speed by 2.5%, while your damage received is increased by 5% for 10 seconds. Max 10 stacks. Your critical hit chance is reduced by 15%. Attacks against incapacitated enemies are automatically critical hits. 52.1% on the cooldown of all skills, 46.8% on the resource cost reduction, and 90% damage to elite enemies. So this is a level 1 Ethereal Hyperion Spear for the Witch Doctor. Moving on down into the Asters, Asteron's Iron Ward. This is a Crusader weapon right here. It's a mace. It's got pretty much the same affixes, but we changed out the class specific stuff. So this one has 300% damage to all Crusader skills. Now, I know it says Dexterity, I know, I messed up. It, don't worry though, by the time this file is released, everything is going to be perfect. This isn't a full collection of the Ethereals, this is kind of just a showcase to kind of show you guys, you know, what is in store when we release this file, because man, I, I spent so much time on each and every single one of these, man. I, I, pu I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this file, so I just can't wait to showcase everything to you guys. We're going to do it you know, piece by piece, but I figured you guys would want to see the coolest stuff first, you know, like the ethereals. So, Barthrix Cutthroat, this is a monk weapon, 300% damage to all monk skills. It has all the elemental damage, cold, fire, lightning, holy, poison, thorns, it ignores durability loss. All of them are going to be built to ignore durability loss, and it also has all of these amazing bonuses, like killing an elite pack increases move speed by 30% for 7 seconds, Picking up a health club increases move speed by 40% for 7 seconds. You get the 8,000 experience per kill. You get consecutive hits, increases damage and attack speed. It's It's got so much just on one weapon. It's just, it's it's absolute insanity. 
Moving on down into the next one, we're on the Black Bogs Sharp. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. Some of these. I actually have to scroll to the bottom because I can't for. I forget if this is. Yeah, this is for the Necrobancer. This is an Ethereal Kinsideris for the Necrobancer. Very good. Again, class specific, so it's going to have 300% damage to all Necro skills. We could probably up that, but I don't want to push it too far because I like where the damage is at. I mean, it's at 10 million compared to. The legendary there on the right which is two million so there's a big damage increase and just looking at the number of affixes on the one on the right compared to the one on the left i mean it just blows it out of the park it's absolutely it's absolute insanity moving on down the black hand key this is a necromancer weapon so 300 percent damage to all necro skills it's got the augment for intelligence it's got all of the elemental damage percent damage increased attack speed you know, Essence of Anguish, it's got the Cursed Enemies are feared in place for 7 seconds, that same uh, consecutive hit increase for damage and attack speed, and the same two increases for move speed. And you also get the 8,000 experience per kill, all these other cool things. Cooldown of all skills, 52.1%. Resource cost reduction, 46.8%. So when you're wearing these items, you're practically going to hit 100% on both resource cost reduction and cooldown of all skills because I mean the gear already pretty much hits it and then adding this on top of there it's just like overkill but it's so fun to play so I can't wait to get your guys' feedback on these items man so this right here this Brizza du Kinyan I'm sorry if I slayed that name this is a demon hunter this is a crossbow so it's 400% damage to all demon hunter skills it's augmented for dexterity it's got all the elemental damage it ignores durability loss same bonuses Except for this one has 1 to maximum damage per Paragon level up to 800. So if you're at least 800 Paragon, you're going to get a little damage boof, buff. Sorry, boof, what the hell. 8,000 experience per kill. The same three bottom affixes. Same for the bonuses too. Level 1, Ethereal Ballista for the Demon Hunter. Moving right down into the Ghost Flame. Now this is, I believe, another one of those Witch Doctor weapons. The Witch Doctor weapons don't show as a percent damage to all Witch Doctor skills, whereas it is 200% damage to all Voodoo, Decay, and Secondary skills. So it's a little bit different, but still very good. The, the uh, Witch Doctors in general needed a big damage increase, and these Ethereal items are going to really take that class to the next level, and I can't wait to showcase some of these and future build guides for both Season 26 and Season 27. Moving on to the Gimmer Shred. This is a Barbarian weapon. It's actually a Flying Axe. 600% damage to all Barbarian skills, which is just insane. It's got all the elemental damage, as all the other ethereals I've shown. Even Thorn's damage ignores durability loss. Increases move speed after picking up a health globe and killing an elite pack. 8,000 experience per kill. That death blow animation, which is just absolutely amazing. And the bonuses are the same. This is the level 1 Ethereal Flying Axe for the Barbarian. Moving down to probably my favorite one, the Jade Talon for the Monk. Again, hitting all of the areas. I mean, it's got 9,000 regular damage. It just blows my mind what is possible with these Ethereals because of the three legendary gems. It means you can just assign absolute, like, so many affixes, man. Like, it's... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it to you guys, but... They're so fun to play around with, that's all I can say. I hope you guys take my word for it, man. They're absolute, just the best. They're so much fun, man. So much fun. I think every one of you guys is really going to enjoy these. Moving on down into the Kaleem's Will. This is really good for the Crusader. It's a flail. Again, hitting all um, of the elementals, you know, cold, fire, lightning, poison, holy, and thorns. And it's augmented for strength. 300% damage to all Crusader skills. And the same bonuses. This one actually has a different one. Killing an enemy reduces the cooldown of Steve's charge by one second. So yeah, it's got all of the ethereal affixes on there, which, you know, we had to do it. Moving on to the Soul Harvest. This is a Necromancer Scythe. So it's got 300% damage to all Necro skills. Same elemental damage increases. Thorns damage ignores durability loss. The cursed enemies are feared in place for seven seconds. Consecutive hits increases your damage and attack speed. And picking up a health globe and killing an elite pack increases your move speed. 8,000 experience per kill. The death blow animation and the bonuses are really good as well. Moving on down, we got two, a couple more to show here. We got the Gibden. This is a Witch Doctor weapon. Yep, it is because 200% uh, damage to all Voodoo, Decay, and Secondary skills. 8,000 experience per kill. I didn't show the top ones because they're pretty much identical for each ethereal item. It's the ones towards the bottom that are going to be different. 
Moving on down, the Grandfather, my favorite weapon. This is a Barbarian weapon, so of course we had to put the 600% damage to all Barbarian skills. Now this one is actually really good with the Wrath of the Waste Whirlwind set. I was playing with this last night, and I found it's a little bit slower than using the Bulkathos swords, but oh my god, is it so much fun to play with. I mean, I just, I don't know if you guys are like me, and you think Diablo 2 is still a great game, and you just love seeing Ethereal as well. Here they are, man. We got them for you. And the Oculus. Who could forget about the Oculus, man? One of the most iconic wizards or sorceresses, I should say, from Diablo 2 made its way into D3, and now we can play with it, man. 900% damage to wizards only. I mean, that's the highest percent damage to all skills for all of the Ethereals, so it should be pretty awesome to play with. I haven't tried this one out yet, but trust me, I'll probably showcase it in a build guide here in the near future. 8,000 experience per kill. It's got the two move speed increases because, you know, why not? They're amazing and you can't go wrong with some move speed. And the wind force is the next one up. This is a bow for the demon hunter, so it's going to have 400% damage to all demon hunter skills, augmented for dexterity, again, hitting all areas for damage, all the elements, even percent damage and thorns damage, ignores durability loss, in same move speed increases and that one to maximum damage per paragon level up to 800 and the rest of the bonuses shown on screen it's level one ethereal hydra bow for the demon hunter and moving on down into the last i believe the last ethereal i have to show for you i know this isn't a full collection i believe i'm missing like only one or two more but those will be added every single one of them is going to be on the save i can guarantee that and uh, this one is an another one that's just absolutely crazy it's got 900 percent damage to wizards only you know, it's a fun weapon to play around with. All you wizard fans out there are absolutely going to love playing with these, man. Both the Oculus and the Wizard Spike are going to be very, very fun, for sure. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed, man. I just I just have to do this drop one more time. Just listen to the way these sound when they drop. Just listen to this, guys. Just listen to this. Ready? Ready for this? Ah, heavenly, heavenly ethereal noise, man. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed this little showcase. I'm sorry I've been so busy and I haven't uploaded lately. I've been really trying to work on this seasonal save. And as a quick little bonus for you guys who sticked all the way around till the end, we're just going to showcase all the different characters really quick. We're not going to like pop into them. We're just going to show them because I want to show you guys some crazy, crazy stuff with this Hagrid character. So first up, we got Bellist Bellatrix Lestrange, Necromancer, Mad Mardigan, my homie, he's a crusader. Luna Lovegood, the demon hunter. Flora DeClore, the witch doctor. Ginny Weasley, the monk. Snape, of course, the witch doctor. Hagrid, we gotta pop into Hagrid real quick though, man. I gotta show you guys these crazy ass visuals I've been working on. Now, when you get this save, you can equip stuff, but it will take away the visuals. I just wanted to show that, cause look how crazy this looks. I mean, like, oh, it just, it's, it's insane, right? It looks so cool and nothing's equipped by the way. This is all pure visuals done in the editor, so as soon as you equip stuff onto that character, it will be removed, but this is something cool to look at. Crazy Quad Guy, another one of my day one homies, he's a demon hunter. Hermione Granger, of course, has to be a wizard, you know, she's a, she's an amazing witch, or a wizard, I should say, so, you know, witch. Moonfade, another day one homie, she's a barbarian, of course. Christopher, another one of my team members, he's a necro, looking badass with the two maces. Moving on down, Daddy T, another one of my team, man. He is a Crusader, looking hella dope with that big-ass shield and that mace. Moving on down, Minerva McGonagall. She is a monk, of course, the last seasonal character. And then we move into the hybrid stuff. So this save will include all hardcore gear and all softcore gear non-seasonal. So when you get the save, you're going to be able to play seasonal, softcore, and there'll be a different save for seasonal, hardcore, and then it has both softcore and hardcore non-seasonal as well as all the cosmetics. So this save has really got it all. I really think you guys are going to enjoy this, so I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to catch you all in a future video coming out soon. And again, guys, this save is going to be released to absolutely everyone for free August 8th or August 7th at midnight. So technically August 8th, Central Standard Time. Mark your calendars, and I hope you guys all enjoy, man. Like I said, when Season 27 rolls out, we'll be doing a Day 1 patch to update it to Season 27. So, again, thank you all for watching. Hope to catch you all in a future video coming out soon. Stay safe, stay happy, and last but not least, stay gaming, my friends. Peace.